In this week's episode, we're installing the TRE air locker into the hybrid diff. All right, today's the day. A ton of you guys have been asking me for this and when I would get to it, and uh, we're getting to her today. So I ordered this TRE air locker from China quite a while ago. And uh, I did a little bit of an unboxing review to it. I'll put a link up here for you guys to check out if you want to. And uh, we're going to install it into the carrier. And then it goes into the hybrid diff. I'll even put a link here to the last episode of the hybrid diff part three when I did the trussing and the armor. So we're just going to get to it. This is not an instructional video on how to set gears. I'm not going to go into it, but I'm going to show you the little details on how to install the locker and what to watch for. So uh, let's get after it. So one of the first things we want to do or we need to do is to get the old ring gear off of the carrier. We're just after the ring gear. carrier to just get set aside and there's our ring gear okay so now we've got the bearing set out and I marked one bearing with the race just so that I don't get them mixed up because they are a matched set. And uh, what we're just gonna do now is we're gonna press our bearings onto each side of the air locker here, and then we will be ready to set the ring gear in there. So I'm gonna show you a little trick that I learned from a YouTuber that I watch a lot, uh, Dirt Lifestyle. And he makes a uh, slip-on bearing race for pressing these on. So it's like a dummy race, basically. And then that way it presses on the bearing in just exactly the right place. It's not pressing on the cage or nothing like that. And I'll put a link to the video that I learned it from right up here. That should be seated. Bearings are now set, and then that just slips right off there nicely. That works so perfect. Great idea, thanks Nate. Okay, so if you guys wanna watch a video on how to set this ring and pinion up, Nate at Dirt Lifestyle, he just put out a video and it's, uh, it's perfect. So I'll put a link right up here. You guys wanna go check out his video and come back and finish watching this air install. So let's get to her here. I've already checked with a file across here to make sure there's no no high spots, no burrs or anything like that. I've done it also on the mating surface here to make sure there's no high spots and uh, clean it off real good to make sure that there's no junk gonna get in the way. And then we just basically are gonna set our ring on here and bolt it down. Look at that, I, uh, I lined that up perfectly. That don't happen every day. So like, like, just like Nate suggests, he, uh, he likes to pull his ring and pinion on with the bolts. I think that's a great idea. And then we'll take them back out and we'll red Loctite them. So uh, let's crank this down.
Okay, so the instructions tell you that you have to drill two holes in here, one for the air hole and one for an oil return line. And you need to drill them where they're not going to be in the way of the diff. So I've got one marked here. We could probably drill the other one right there, right next to it, because that one is just oil return and it's not going to get, nothing will be in the way there. So I will turn the diff here and show you what I mean. But basically I put this, the gear set in just so I can make sure where I'm going to drill the hole is not like where the ring gear is or make sure I got lots of clearance here to do what I got to do. So this here is the fitting that goes in it. And it's a quarter inch NPT. We're going to put it in right there. Should be well enough away, hopefully from the bolts and everything. So let's drill that one in there. And it's got to be a 7 16 hole, so not quite the last one. I'll just run her through from the backside just to chamfer. Now when we tap this, we're going to try and tap it as square to the face as possible. So it's very deceiving. I started this tap in a little bit more down, but actually the way I have it set now, the tap is coming through nice and flush on the backside. So to me, that's going to say that we're coming through as square as possible. All right, we don't want to go any further than that. That'll be about perfect. So here's the next little fitting that goes in and we're going to put that one in right beside it. And this is the oil return line. And so we're going to drill an R right beside it. And then we'll tap to put this little guy in. All right, you can see both fittings installed. This is your air inlet goes in that is what actuates your locker. And then this is an oil return line for any oil that gets apparently pushed up through this oil. When you disengage, it returns back down in there to save your air compressor, apparently. Okay, so now we're ready to install the gear set. Like I said before, this isn't an instructional video on how to install a gear set. If you want to go watch a video of how to install the gear set. I'll put a link up here or down in the description to Dirt Lifestyles channel where he just did a video on how to set up gears. And uh, we'll leave it at that. Once I'm done that, then we'll be installing the rest of the air locker. So the next time you see it, this gear set's gonna be in. So I got my gear set set to like seven and a half, eight thou, right in that spec, same rough spot as it was when I took it out. And uh, she's basically ready to go to finish installing the rest of the air locker. Let's have at her. Now we just install this and this is where the air goes into the locker here. Just want to be careful not to wreck them little o-rings. There we go. And it basically goes in place there. And then this little tab basically holds everything in from spinning.
And then the lock ring. There we go. Now we just snap this sucker on. Just like that. And that should hold that bad boy into position. And now we just carefully bend this stuff where we want it. Okay, so now we're going to thread this into the diff. This is that air inlet fitting. I've got some Teflon tape on it already. And we're just gonna thread that baby in. We're also gonna thread this little guy in right beside it. And that's the oil return line. So now basically, we just want to try and bend this without kinking it. And we don't want it touching the metal parts anywhere. Now we just need to cut some of this tube off and then install it through the other side. And we'll try and keep this fairly close to the diff. That way we're not hitting the back cover. Okay, we got the old housing is completely cleaned out and everything like that. And we're just gonna clean this surface before we drop the third member on there. And like I've said in my previous videos, the cleaner you get this surface, the less chance you're gonna have leaks. So make sure it's super clean. I like to use brake clean, gas works, acetone works. Anything that doesn't leave a oily type residue and you'll be fine. Just make sure this surface is super clean. No oils or anything left on it. And we'll be good. Okay, now that we got her all cleaned up, we're gonna put the right stuff on here and prepare to drop the locked diff in here. This pressurized can of the right stuff is the ticket. Now with that set on, we'll just uh, put a nut on every other bolt we'll just give it a little snug down and then we'll give her a final tighten and that's pretty well it So that's it for the locker install. The next step will be putting seals and bearings and axles in this baby, and we'll be getting ready to put her under the Zook. So if you guys are enjoying this sort of content, go ahead, subscribe, share, like these videos, hit the bell to be notified. Don't forget to turn on notifications. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, it's at Fabin underscore adventures. If you wanna help support the channel, I got a link to my Patreon account down below in the description. Go ahead, click on that. Join the team, help support the channel a little bit. I will catch you guys next Friday.